G'day everyone, it's Peter Price here of Professor Pete's Classroom. Welcome to this video. Um, first up, I want to thank our subscribers and those people on our email list who've responded to the survey that I put out this week. It just went out this morning. I've been so um, humbled and grateful for the number of people who've given us brilliant feedback. There's really just two questions. If you haven't seen the survey, there's a link below this video. And really what I'm asking teachers of K through six math, two basic questions. Which topics would you most like assistance with in the form of resources and things that you can download from an online website? And what would you like to see included in a package that addresses those topics? So thank you again to those people who've already responded. If you've received the email, just click the link. It's a very short um, little survey. There's just a couple of questions. There's a little bit on you know, what grades you teach and so on. But I believe I'm telling the truth if I say it'll only take you one minute, 60 seconds is all. But if you haven't received the email or you've lost it or something, there is a link below this video. I'm not really, I'm not really trying to advertise the uh, survey on this video, but I just thought I'd make that connection. So this is a first for me, just standing, talking to the camera about subjects as they come to mind um, in the form of a vlog, if you will, or a video blog. Um, but we'll see how this progresses. I wanted to talk about how important mathematics is and how important it is for our students to know mathematics as we go forward. And you might think, well, you're a math teacher, what, what would I expect? You know, anybody who loves math as much as I do is bound to say, kids need to know math. And they do. But I'm thinking of the needs of the wider society, our communities, our governments, our whole nations need people who are good at math. And I don't just mean people who are able to function in the workplace, but people who can keep us safe. What I'm alluding to is, um, I saw a documentary recently about terrorism and cyber attacks and the people around the world who would like to attack our countries and steal our money and steal our secrets and steal our security. And the people on this video were saying they're at least as dangerous as someone carrying a bomb. Um, and they can create just as much damage. In this um, video documentary on TV, there were um, hackers who'd hacked into a system and people working for a security company, I think it might have been Symantec or something like that, discovered these hackers were getting in and they traced what they were trying to do. They come up with this new um, virus called Suxnet or some, <laughs> some type like that. And they were attacking a nuclear power plant in Iran and the hacking that they were doing was enough to cause the nuclear power plant to have a meltdown and overheat and they caused some real damage and they did it from another country using computer hacking. It was the scariest thing when you consider what else is connected. I mean, who thought connecting a nuclear power plant to the internet was a good idea? I think they need their head read, but anyway, that's the world that we live in. So hackers are trying to steal all sorts of things using nothing more than a laptop. And so our students are growing up in a world well, we don't just need people who can balance their checkbook and, you know, understand math when they're shopping and cooking and so on. They need to be able to do serious computer coding and be able to figure out what the bad guys are doing so that we can all be safe, so that we can counteract that. And the nations that we live in, Western democracies, who are not known for, you know, doing bad things at that level, they're employing people to hack into foreign countries computer systems. So, I don't want to get too bleak here, but the fact is that mathematics is increasingly important and the students that we're teaching today, some of them need to become um, the, the good guys, not the hackers in the basement trying to steal stuff, but the hackers in government offices who are figuring out ways to defend us and keep us all safe. And so, um, to me, it's just another example of why mathematics is important, why we need to be teaching mathematics and teaching it really, really well. And we need to inspire our students, the kids in classrooms today in the K to six level, to let them know that mathematics is so important 
and it's not out of date and it's not something you can just go, oh, well, you know, we don't really need math anymore. We need math more than we ever did right now. So I'll leave you with that thought. Um, if you're a subscriber to the channel, thank you so much. But if you're here for the first time, if this is the first of my videos you've ever seen, then I encourage you to subscribe. There's a button on the screen. There's links below the video. Um, I look forward to talking to you again in the future about math teaching and inspiring you to be a better teacher and whatever ways I can help you, um, that's what I'm here for. So thanks again and I'll talk to you again very soon.